Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den, Legacy Internet Radio. Appreciate everybody that's still listening to us tonight. Keeping it moving as we progress through the night. Big Rube, you're continuing on in the round table. What you got, brother? All right, all right. Three down, three to go. Now, you know, I've been a very big proponent of this for years. As if you listen to us, you know how much I can't stand BET. They call it black entertainment television. I call it bougie entertainment television. Now, I'm sorry I watched the BET Awards a couple weeks ago. They gave a whole two and a half hours and they gave out four awards. I didn't think that was an award show, a uh, hip hop award show. Uh, it was just a whole bunch of whack people singing and stuff. So I don't know what it's about, but I'm kind of over it. So as a people, as a people, Viacom owns BET, who also owns MTV, and ever since Bob Johnson sold it, the dude we all really didn't like anyway. True. It's been terrible. But the question now is maybe you shouldn't have sold it because it might be relevant. So is it time to close up BET, Jay? Um, is, it, is it just time to be done? Because I don't know how much more of um, Baby Boy I can watch, man. I can't. <laughs> They, it, should, it comes on I mean, like every Tuesday, three times a day. Do do we even? I think so because do we really even watch BET anymore? <laughs> I mean, you know, they they don't show videos anymore. There ain't no they one in six apart. You know, um, TV One playing Martin. So so is MTV <laughs> too. Yeah, so you know, I, I think it's time to close BET. I mean, like like you said, when you watch the BET Awards, when you watch the BET Awards, hip hop or the regular one. It's all about the performance. You know, the hip-hop is all about the cypher. You might see two awards being presented. Um, who cares? I mean, half of the time, like, the hip-hop awards, we looking for the who, the old school people. The, <laughs> we looking for yeah. whoever. The, that's why we watch it at our age, to see who's coming up, like Scarface, you know. I mean, we, I thought the cypher was a the good, good yeah, prospect. That's it is, all we watch it for. It's, hot, it's just old now. But, yeah, I think it's time to wrap BET up. And, like, even when 106 and Park was out, like, after AJ and Free, who cared about everybody else? I mean. True. You know, so, yeah, I, I agree. Wrap it up. Didi? I don't watch um, any award show. I don't care if it's the Hip Hop Awards, the CMAs, the AM. Uh, I don't watch award shows because – as you stated, it's barely an award, you know, that's given out. It's well, I don't watch the music award shows. Let me say that. Everything is about it's big ass production on the stage. You know, are you getting an award for that production tonight? If not, that's enough. I don't. I just don't watch them. Um, I don't watch BET. I can't think of the last time I watched something on BET outside of Being Mary Jane, which I've decided not to watch this year. So because. Um, it's whack. You just realized it was whack. No, I don't think. It's on Netflix. It's whack, but I can't. You know, <laughs> I watched it this long. Why not watch it? But it, it's just it's a personal thing for me. This is my um, protest, I guess, about the the um, Million Man March. Well, I'm sorry, the twenty. What was it? The um, BET not showing the 20th anniversary. Yeah, oh, okay. the BET put out yeah. a press le release that said that the reason why that they didn't broadcast the Justice or Else March 20th anniversary of the Million Man March was because they didn't want to offend viewers. They didn't want to offend white people. Basically, because the they didn't want to talk about the black which people. Which is the reason why they did not broadcast it black. because they feel as though their viewership is more well-rounded than to be specifically concerned with a march like that now i'm paraphrasing you can go and you can look up the press release for yourself and you can paraphrase it any way you want but my interpretation to what bet said was we don't want to offend massa so we're not going to put use black folks little march on your television yeah. channel shows yeah. and so yeah. we'll leave it so that <laughs> yeah. the other channels should put it on Definitely and because we mean, do, we just don't want to upset massa what else was there to yeah think? that's that's what that what was. else was there to think so yeah, I don't I don't watch BET. I, there's be nothing on BET that I really hope watch. I didn't just offend anyone. They'll be alright. You really? Nah, I don't care if I <laughs> so, <laughs> so in your opinion, is it time to kick it to the dirt? Yeah, Me? past time. D -D -D. I don't know. I would never say kick a, a a whole entire channel to the dirt. I mean, kick it. 
I change the channel. I don't want to watch it. Change the channel. Well, let me ask you a question for Marcus J. Goes. What is Centric for? It's for the people who don't have uh, uh, that cable package. You can get Centric on a regular cable package. It's if you women. don't have the Thank movie, you. it's for who? Women. It's for marketed women. for women. It's I don't watch Centric. It, I mean, unless a show is, is on that I want to watch, it's, that's when why, I watch it. Which is it's why I women. asked. Yeah. Because the only reason I knew that is because it's they showed it five women. million times yeah. on the BET Awards. They, yeah, Centric for is for black women. TV show for women. It is. Yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah, TV show for women. But yeah. nobody knows that. Well, I don't you know? watch BET, so how would I? I mean, I've seen Centric. Yeah. I watch Centric um, because they really got some interesting stories if, on there. If about I'm, black it, women. listen, Centric if is I'm what on BET the, was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Exactly. If I'm on the guide and I see, oh, that mo- I want to watch that movie on Centric, that's when I watch it. I'm not watching Centric for the hell of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry if I offended anyone. Marcus J. Uh, I think that we are treading on very, very light land when we talk about shutting down a network. Um, I, I, I wouldn't be one to say that we should shut down BET or shut down a network because at the end of the day, you know, someone mentioned freedom of speech earlier on. It, it is what it is. And the truth is we can't even get together to get people who offend us off the air. Hmm. So we talking about shutting down a whole network. It, I mean, we can't get it personal. If we can't about shut down, down Fox News, well, what's the point? Yeah. So I think it's silly to even broach the subject. Um, but if we are to, again, wield the power that we have and remember that BET it stands for Black Entertainment Television, then those folks who want to support that station need to tell the station what they want to watch. And you do that by actually watching the things that are good and not watching the things that are not good. It really is that simple. And so I don't know what channel basketball-wise or all of those kinds of shows. I don't know what channel. Okay, fine. If you don't want to watch, you know, if you think those shows are bad, don't watch them. If you think that being Mary Jane is good, then watch that. You know what I mean? That's how you do that. But the suggestion of shutting down a network in an age where we can't even get together to get a individual who's offensive off the air, I think it's kind of silly, personally. All right. Cool. Uh, did you know Cedric was for women? I did. Okay. I didn't know that. That's uh, so I, I get, what, TV and before I move on, the funniest thing about this is the three men, the three black men in here knew what the <laughs> black woman didn't know, that they, there's actually a, a channel for black women but we knew that and she did. It's like the essence of television. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is? It is. I guess that explains. I, I, I don't really, when I watch TV, I'm watching something specific um, between the news. Once I get my information, then I look, you know, the rest of the stuff up to see, oh, is this bull or, you know, is this real? Um, I watch a show here and there on TV, but, yeah, I don't really watch TV too much. Yeah, but I, now that I think about it. But I think it would be interesting if they really truly wanted to put that information out that they there are other ways to do that. And clearly is for they black have women. not. I feel terrible. Am I not a it's okay. black woman? Well <laughs> I can't answer that question for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to let you handle that. Wow. So, all right. Sex. Where's my cowbell? The question is <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. And I want to start with Dee Dee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is sex more important for, men or women? And, and after you say that, I have an article to explain why I asked this question. Who is it more important for? Yes. Apparently women after they watch that game picture. After they Stop the game picture. <laughs> Listen, I've seen that. I've seen that hashtag lie um, going around Facebook. The game, August Alcina and some other dude. I don't know who that is. I'm like, this isn't real, is it? <laughs> about the friend request. Y'all can talk all that bullshit all you want, but there ain't no woman want all that for real. You just don't. Well, why not? You, you just don't. Why because, not? Because half y'all can't take the dude you got. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Really? really? I went there. 804 I can't respond to that because in my okay. presence, 
con, you know, situation. No, I, I, I you know, whatever. I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to be disrespectful here, but in the conversations that I've had and just being 41 <laughs> in my life, I've just, my personal opinion, just my experience is that that video, first of all, the picture looked photoshopped to me. That's the first thing. That's what I said. That's the first that thing. It can't be real. That's the first thing. But the second thing was, if it's not Photoshop, the popular opinion is, girl, I wish I had all that. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. I know what I do with I that. I know he got it and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you don't want that. You don't want that. It'll hurt yeah. you. Uh, first of all, it, it, it'll you not don't be comfortable. Know what? Uh, every, I'm speaking well, you, for you. I'm okay. not speaking for you as an individual. I'm I not. Just say, I'm, I'm just, just saying. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just being saying. very general. You don't know what we can. You don't know what we can take right, and what right. we can't take. Let's go back to the okay, question. All you. right. I got you. Boom. But I'm just what was the what is? Oh well. Who, who, who is, is sex it more, more important, important for, men or women? Okay. Thanks for getting back to the real question, Ruben. I honestly. And I want to hear. The, I want to hear the, the woman in the room. I cannot answer that question. Why not? Knowing, I can talk about me personally. And I can talk about men that I know. Then give me your opinion of you personally compared to the men that you know. Who wants who? Who's it more important for the men or the women? I'm sorry, y'all. Men, I'm sorry. Why? I think it's more important for y'all because you're visual creatures. You see a body, and it it has to exude sexiness to you. In order for you to even be attracted to that person enough to say, hey, boom, 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 let's talk, blah, 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 send me a friend request, whatever. Um, for us, for women, and women, any woman out here, if I'm wrong, please call in, because all I can do is speak on my personal experience. Wow, they're going to be quiet 804-402-2893. Ain't no half-stepping with Marcus J. Um... Me personally, I need to build a bond with you first before I'm even thinking about sex. That's just me. If I don't, if, if there's no connection, I don't care if it's mental or, or physical. Sex isn't that important to me. It's not a major thing. It's not the initial importance. Once we get to know each other, you know, it comes and it comes. And, but, 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 if in this relationship, <laughs> you know, it's not all, you know, what it's supposed to have cracked up to be, yeah, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. And, and Jay cannot wait to get I, He that. can answer. I don't care. So broke right I don't now. care. Say but it. it, it, it say it. It's, it's, say it's, it with your it's, chest. It's, 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 it's you crazy it because <laughs> what she's saying is, 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 is exactly true yeah like with women with their emotions man i'd be like why you most men we you know like it's important that like we we see a woman that's the first thing we get oh she think i'm i hit that you know what i'm saying like i hit that straight without even thinking if any man tell you he look at a woman off the first look and be like oh she's got a beautiful soul <laughs> she's pretty you know I, I can't even make my mouth to say that. I know, you know that's a I'm lie. Saying? I know. You know how many? Like, I know that's yeah, a, keep it real. a like, damn lie. You know, I look, I see them. We, I, I work all the time. I, they come and go. I be like, yeah, I hit that. She be about 50, 60. Yeah, I hit that. Oh, she fit. Yeah, I hit that. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So, yeah, I think it's more important for men because we, we most men think with the bottom. And if the you see a chick yeah, and your do. first impulse is not, I'll hit that. You don't talk to her. Well, you're not talking to her with the intention of let's make this something else. Well, but that's that's the and man's that's, thing. But when we get the number and we talk to you, it, it becomes more than that. I, okay, I because understand we, all that. Because as men, we know who we can talk to. We When y'all first open y'all mouth, we know what type of female we about to get into it. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So if you... We just do. So we know we can hit that in 48 hours. That's not a question No, 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 no. You don't know that. You want to do it. There's a difference. We know. We know whether it's going to happen. 
True. Right. The I first that. time I see it. And that's it. the reason why I've always said, and people yeah. think I'm crazy when I say it, that women have far more power than they think they yeah, have. And they most do. of you I waste agree. it. Exactly. <laughs> I definitely agree. <laughs> most of you waste That's not the I power that agree. I want to wield. It is that's what it is. Me. It is yeah. what that's it is. That's not the power yeah. I want to okay, wield. You don't want to wield But most of it is what it is. They come into you. It's not that they want to, unless, you know, y'all been friends, y'all met through somebody else and they, you know, whatever. But when they first see you, you be like, oh, exactly. okay. Exactly. Oh, she thick too. But you know, you oh, have she a got lot, pretty feet. You have a lot of women that <laughs> will want you to, <laughs> a, but you have a lot of women that don't want you to apologize for that. And they'll make you, or I shouldn't say they'll make you, you are who you are, you feel how you feel, but they'll say things that will suggest that they think that there's something wrong with that when, like last week when we were talking about phenomenal women and we were talking about all of that kind of stuff. And that's great. That's fine. But you're not wrong for being a man and feeling how you feel no right. more than you're a woman for being a woman and feeling how you feel. Men are visual. And yes, when we see you, we think about having sex with you. We just do. And you need to get out of your feelings about that. I yeah. agree. You just do. You I need agree. to get out of your feelings about that because the truth is – that's how a man, for the most part, is wired. Yep. It's scientific. Yep. It's physiological. It ain't got nothing to do with you. None. You shouldn't be in your feelings. You shouldn't feel personal about that. Just like a woman, for the most part, she's looking at you and she's feeling how a woman feels about I can't speak on that. I ain't, no, I ain't a woman. But, you know, the chances of a man dealing with you if the first time he saw you and he didn't think about having sex with you is, is pretty low. Yeah. It is. It, it, it just yeah. is. And like Dee Dee said earlier, when we take it back to the original question that Ruben asked, who is sex more important for, I think, Dee Dee, you said this in a previous I think you said this last week. I know you said it in a previous show. A woman knows pretty early in her contact with you if she will. Not if she is actually going to do it, but, but if she, she could, yes. if she would do it or have sex with you. So when we're talking about who is sex more important for, I think it's a draw. It's a draw for different reasons. Because a man is a draw is because I can't I can't deal with her unless I can have sex with her. A woman is like, I can have sex with this dude so I can deal with him. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. like I, I you know I hope that don't sound crazy but yeah. That, you know, so I think it's a draw, Rube. I think it's a draw. Yeah. All right. Now, the reason why this question was asked, because I was curious to see what y'all thought, and I found this article from Black Insurance News, Ooh. and the, the study... <laughs> <laughs> he can't even read it because <laughs> SY just appeared on my phone you mean um, the same SY who yeah, hasn't reached out right? to me at oh, all me too. Look, look, look. oh she's hitting up <laughs> both of y'all yeah and she's only hit me up just to say hey to Hakeem <laughs> okay I got you all right. the article the associate the article <laughs> the article title is study says women who perform oral sex are happier and less depressed I've heard that what the wow. hell does that have to do with the question <laughs> Hear me out. Sorry for yelling. Hear me out. Wow. Get it, girl. (laughs) They interviewed 293 people, black women, and they were asked to fill out a depression inventory. (laughs) Blah, blah, blah. (laughs) The results show that women who regularly regularly practice oral sex are less likely to be depressed. In addition, the results show that women who engage in regular sexual intercourse were less likely to be depressed than those women who are abstinent. Who come Wait a minute. Up with Wait these? a minute. So, the statistics. Minute. So, okay. I'm going back to my original question. Who is sex more important for? By the by this article, it may be women. Listen. But just by this article, I'm not stating it is. I'm just saying by this article. Um. Because I mean, I do know a few women who have been abstinent and you're miserable they are yes they're miserable i mean i'm just being honest about it but it's not because they're not performing oral sex you can believe that it's because they're not getting period but hold on but it says and i'll repeat it again the results show that women who engage in regular sexual intercourse were less likely to be depressed than those women oh regular sexual intercourse 
Yeah. Hey, listen, I agree. I don't like that sample size, but I agree with that statement. I mean, you know. That's just me. I, I agree with it. I agree and, with it. And I will read this, and I don't believe I'm reading this on air, but this, <laughs> this is an article, and it's got stuff in it. The researchers use evidence suggests that it is the consumption of semen rather than the sexual act that gives women the mood enhancing effects. So I'm getting, I, a, I'm finally getting a, a, a note from. Go, disagree. I'm, I'm finally getting a note from the associate. That's why. <laughs> the co host. And the associate, that's why. And she says that the article that Ruben read is crap. Uh, I'm not sure why. So, uh, associate, if you could. Uh, elaborate eight zero four four zero two two eight nine three. You have the number. I think you've called it once or twice or so. You know, many of the yeah. associates have that number, so you can call us and uh, let us know <laughs> so, why you think that article is crap. Yeah, but I mean, associates. But that's you know that's the reason why I asked. <laughs> I was curious to see what would happen. So, but yeah, that's the article, and you can take it for what you want. Give it, what, what's what's that site again? You know what it what's is. That article? I, I think I black think that with the black insurance. Document? You know what I think? Black I think a station. lot of people have a negative connotation attached to oral sex. Oh yeah. And the 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 funny part about it is, you'll find that there's some folks that just prudes. You can't do nothing about them. The prudes are going to be prudes. They're going to be prudes publicly. They're going to be prudes behind the scenes. Yep. You know, they're going to be in their feelings about being a prude. You whack and you're prude. But then there are a lot of people who are, they're not going to tell you publicly that they enjoy doing that. Mm. But behind the scenes, you can't get them to stop doing that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And so I, me personally, I never really understood the negative st- stigmatization. Stigmatism? What's the right word? Stigmatism. Uh, there it is. I don't either. I don't understand the negative stigmatism of oral sex, whether it be male to female or female to male. I don't I don't understand why it's a problem one way or the other. If you like doing it, then fine, you like doing it. What's the problem? Why are you worrying about what other people are gonna say or judging and all that kind of stuff? So when we talk this up, Didi, and you and your feelings huffing and puffing and all that stuff over there, you know, if you wanna do it, you ain't gotta tell us you wanna do it when you with your boo, just go ahead and do it. He's good. <laughs> yeah, really. You ain't gotta let us know. You can go ahead and huff and puff and act like you in your feelings, but when you see him, you know how you feel about doing that for him. That's y'all's relationship and that's fine. Wait a minute. It's all good. That's not even what I'm huffing and puffing about. Okay, well then maybe that's not what you're huffing and puffing about. But what I'm but 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 what I'm saying is I guess your reaction to what Ruben read as far as what the statistics show your reaction led me to think that you had a problem with that uh, assumption. And then she said that I don't believe what it was. Just yeah. Saying. So I, so so that and, and, and that's fine. That's because I thought it was talking about the oral sex part. I thought it, it was, was talking saying, about both. The article started off by oral sex, but then yeah, and then it, after the that, end, yeah, it said, well, it's just sex. Period. Yeah. If women just have sex, they won't be so depressed. And, and I agree with and that it says part. Black women. Oh, wait black, a minute now. It did. It's a it's. A black well, I don't article. know. I can't speak for a <laughs> non-black person or a non-black woman. I mean, I, I agree. Yes, I agree. I yeah. I mean, you are. Right. You, you gotta be all. I'm just saying. I don't agree with the num. Like again, I've said this every time I'm on this show. You can make statistics say whatever they want I didn't to. Give statistics. Well, they're they're giving statistics. They didn't give statistics. They, they didn't gave give a percentage. They just said most. They said, oh, oh, their numbers, they didn't give me they didn't give any a number. numbers. They didn't All give me they did was that. tell you they used a sample size of 293, correct? Yep. Okay. That's a and small least, and at least sample size. 1% said that when I have sex, when I have oral sex, I feel better about myself. And I don't want to be, I'm not, I'm not depressed. And even if I have regular sex, I'm not depressed. That's what it said. All right. All right. Uh, I'm All right. I mean, as a man, you know what that. All right, yep, uh-huh. you know what that means. I don't want to talk about this right. no more. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's what that it's, means. It, you know what? I'm, I, that's I'm, what that I'm means. Shutting, I'm shutting up. You're shutting down. down. You're shutting down. You're right, I am. 
Yes, shutting there's down. a difference yeah. between shutting up and shutting down. You just shut down, and that's okay. It's yes, right. yeah. Only because, again, you know I means. can't speak for the majority of women. I can only speak for me and, that's and how we, that's I all, So we asking yeah, you to do With that alone. being said, yes, I agree. If you have sex, more sex, you'll feel better. But it's not just about the men. Sex. Oral sex, I don't You're have a problem with that. With that. I'm not, I, I don't have a problem with it. You know, it's all a part of, the, it's all a part of it. It's all a part of it without saying anything else. No, I got you. You ain't got to say no more. <laughs> I, I'm with you. You ain't got to make it uncomfortable. I got what you. What I'm saying is not every female feels that way. I mean, yes. there, like you said, there's some, I hate to say prudes, but there's some say prudes it. out here no, that's a who won't do it. Yep. Yeah. But there them. are also some. Um, uh, and they still make them, yes. Uh, uh, dudes out yeah, here. Yeah, they like VCRs. Yeah. Wow. I know, right? You yeah. would think. They like betas. I feel and, like betas coming and, back. Eight tracks. And you know, <laughs> you know it, what I'm it could just be the partner she's with just hasn't presented himself in the correct manner Absolutely. to make it happen. Yep. Yep. You it can't just grab somebody's head and be like, yeah, I, I. that's not how it works. You can't do that. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. You can't do <laughs> yeah. that. You just went real visual hey, hey, Ru, with it right hey, there. Hey, but I'm yeah, just saying. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't do that with everybody. You can't do that with everybody. You know. Nah, and nah. like I said, it could just be the way it's being presented to them to do it. Um, Cause there's still some cavemen out here. That's that's what they do. So, you know, that part I don't agree with, only because there are women out here who may not like it, or their partner is not presenting it to them in a way to make them want to do it. I say leave them. Um, okay. Kick rocks. Kill yourself twice. Uh, wow. Yeah. That shout out <laughs> to our brother Taji. Taji, Taji, boy, we gotta get Taji <laughs> back in here. Come because back. Taji dropped that on us, and we've been saying it every ever week. since. Every week since. <laughs> kick rocks and you kill yourself twice. twice. <laughs> Shout out to our brother Taji. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. All right, last one for the day. This is, I, I, I left a real important one for last. <laughs> Sex is not the real important one. This is the real important one. Um, we've talked about it a couple times, but it's been a while, so, so I decided to bring it back up. Death penalty or life in prison? Say that again. Death penalty or life in prison? I'll let you stew on that for a little bit. We're going to start with Jay first. But I'll let Jay think about it for another five seconds. You know, because I, I kind of want some... I, I, I would like to hear reasons for both or either or neither. I, I don't think. know how neither going to work, but, you know. Personally, I don't... Um I don't believe in the death penalty because I think it's they getting off too easy. I think they need to suffer. Um, and I might sound crazy when I say this, but um, I think the punishment should fit, should fit the crime. I'm all about torture. Public um, hangings. Yeah, I'm all about torture. <laughs> but isn't the that public especially, hangings. you know, especially like the people that that, that mess with kids. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Torture. I think the death penalty is too easy. They're getting off scot free. That's right. You got to listen you know to Wu Tang Clan's Method Man at the beginning so that you can get the right torture. Mm. So you can figure yeah, out. That yeah. Yeah. So if you, you, know if you in the hip hop, you know what I'm saying to you. So your ass go close and keep feeding you and feeding you and feeding you and feeding you. Stab you with a rusty That's screwdriver. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and go get a blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I think the death penalty they getting off scot free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So, okay. Yeah. All right, Didi. And I will give my opinion on this. Shocker. <laughs> I, I am for the death penalty. Spoiler. Mm. Spoiler alert. Why? You like death penalty? I, uh. There are some crimes where I feel that they should. Now, let me say this. I'm for the death penalty if that is in, administered immediately. But I'm all, I, I don't have a problem with somebody sitting on death row for 20 years either and then getting killed. I'm sorry. If the punishment fits the crime, yeah, let them sit. 20 years sitting on death penalty is torture. And at the end of that, guess what? No, we haven't forgiven you. Bye. Yeah. Peace out. 
children, atrocities against children, or anybody who can't protect themselves, or someone who is an, uh, an invalid, an older person, a child, yeah, kill them. I agree with that because I was reading an article. Y'all might remember this rapper, Cool C. I oh, yeah. You know, he's still, you got it. He's still on, on death row. Him and Steady B. I yeah. think, yes. Was it Steady B? Yes. Him Steady, and Steady B, B. and yeah. Cool C. They yeah. was together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they was still together. on death row. I read an article that he just beat it again. You know what I'm saying? So What did he do? He killed the um, security guy. They was robbing somebody and they killed somebody. They killed the security guy. I think they were robbing a bank or something. He killed the security guy. And he guy. doesn't feel he should die as well. You know what I'm saying? So, I actually, I mean, he supposed to have been, been dead three times, but um, his appeal worked. It's called it's the a legal life. technicality. Yeah. It's called the yeah. fabulous life, man. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. got it. The glamorous <laughs> life. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Marcus J. Uh, I'm one of those people, it depends on when you ask me the question on death, on death penalty, All my right. reaction. Some days I'm for it, some days I'm not. What I can't, about today? I can't, I can't be a politician because I am comfortable with my flip-flopping on this one. Uh, today I'm for it. Tomorrow I might not be for it. Uh, but like Didi, I'm one of those people, we don't need to be waiting. But we also need to have irrefutable evidence which we almost never have. That that's a good point. We we yeah. almost never have irrefutable evidence uh, up to and including not an eyewitness but video or DNA. Or and you know what? I'm going to take my a part of my statement and also say. The, I hate to say, the majority of people on death row are they're our people. Um, I'm, I'm going to agree with Marcus and say maybe, you know, and say it depends on the case. For me, it, it does depend on the case, the situation, the crime that was committed, and all of the information that was presented to determine whether or not that uh, assailant, suspect, accused person deserves death row. Yeah. I mean, you got to... You got you to gotta have irrefutable evidence, yeah. and oftentimes we don't have irrefutable evidence. We have a lot of circumstantial evidence. There's too many instances of people being exonerated years and years and years later from their alleged crimes that I personally would have a hard time being very definitive and saying just because you're convicted of said crime means that you get the death penalty like there, there there has to be for me and you know i ain't a lawyer i stayed at holiday inn once but i ain't a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> you know but there's got to be a way that you can differentiate with regards to evidence and mm -hmm. how you get convicted yeah. if we can show that you did it with maybe a video or dna or something like that but i also know that's that's just me speaking in unicorns and euphoria there's no yeah. way you can do that no. And so we have to figure out a way to be one or the other. And I know that's what you want. I can't give you what you want with this. All I can say is you mess with a kid, off with your head. Um, yes. If you mess with an old person, off with your head. If you mess with someone who is an invalid who cannot defend themselves, like a 35-year-old paraplegic, yes. off with your head. You know what I mean? Like, like seriously, like a beheading would be okay. I'd be okay with that. You know what I mean? And so, like, like, like Jay said earlier, with regards to torture, not necessarily okay with outward examples of torture, but I do think that we can bring back things like public displays of, you know, taking your ass out of here. You know what I mean? If you mess with a kid, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to you being beheaded in front of that kid's family. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to that if the kid's family wants to see it. You know, if you if you rape a woman and then kill her, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to you dying by the firing squad in front of her family. You know, so I know that sounds harsh, but you know, when you stick a needle in someone's arm, no matter how much torture that person goes through, no one can prove that they've been tortured. 
because they quietly go to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's what people yeah. on the outside see. Right. The person who's dying might be dying a miserable death, but people on the outside, there's no deterrent for it. Mm -hmm. They just see the person quietly going to sleep. So if you rape and murder a woman and your punishment is to get tied up or crucified like, uh, like, like Yeshua, then hey, <laughs> I'm okay with that, personally. That's just me. So I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but that's what you got. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Um, okay. I am a proponent of the death penalty. There are two states that do it really, really well. That's Texas and Virginia. Yeah. Um, they also lead the country in um, executions. Um, Utah doesn't have many crimes, violent crimes and stuff, because they still use a firing squad. I am what? for the firing squad. Oh. Because let's just be real. If you kill somebody in Utah, you know you're going next. So, hey, then you know you know what's up. <laughs> this is my opinion. Um I am for me I'm a little bit more practical. Um I feel like someone who kills somebody and gets to sit in a jail cell for life or whatever, I'm paying for that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You're not paying for that. I'm paying for that. And especially when these days when they get people who do violent crimes get three meals a day, they can get an education in jail. They can, yeah, they lose their freedom. But they can get a law degree. But, I mean, they get everything else. Not yeah. a fan. A law degree. Um, you know, I don't know if I can live in a state that does not have the death penalty, personally, just because... I am very strong-willed about it. I mean, that doesn't make me a bad person. Right. That doesn't make me a, a great person. That just makes me who I believe. Yep. I am also one of those that you mess with children. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with you. Yeah. You know, raping, raping women, raping anybody. Yeah, I'm done with you. Yeah. Um, Ain't no coming back. From you me. know, back in the day, like Marcus said, they used to do public hangings. They used to do drawing quarters. I'm a fan of that. Mm. Um, yeah, I know we're drawing quarters, all right. Okay. Yes. Uh, for those you don't know, just tie us, tie yourself, tie your four appendages to a horse, to four yeah. horses, and pull it, and tell them all to yeah at the same time, and yeah, there you go. Five, excuse me, because they put one on the head too. Um, you know, I think the problem is that we have so much crime, we have so much violent crime in this country, is because we don't outwardly show that. Hey, you do your crime. If you kill somebody, you right behind them. But here's the only caveat that I have with that, Ruben. If we allow, and I'm going to say allow loosely because I realize that we're not in control mm -hmm. of anything. But just for the interest of the discussion, I'll say allow. If we allow the government to execute folks in these manners, we also know that the same government will take liberties in areas that they ha shouldn't or they're, un they're unauthorized, and that will disproportionately affect those folks who will not have the kind of representation that they can that will keep them from being put in those situations. So that's my only caveat with supporting the death penalty, mm -hmm. which... I know it's there and I know it's an option. You know, it's something about me going and killing somebody outside of this studio and then the three of y'all being the ones to decide if I die and then another person being the one to see to it that I die. Like, it's something about that don't feel yeah. right to me. You know, I, I, this is why I always have, this is why I struggle with the death penalty. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so we've, we've talked about it before here on Ain't No Half Step on Marcus J. And I'm glad you brought it up because it's always good to have the dialogue, D.D. and J. But it's... it's well, see, and, and I also feel like I don't... Honestly, I don't think there are enough caveats on the death penalty now. Like, literally, man, you almost anything you do, you can get the death penalty for. It, as long as you can prove it and prove it was like... I mean, not saying that you shouldn't for raping, a, raping somebody, but I mean, I think in only situations in which life is taken should that 
ever, ever be even thought about put on. And then you got to have an open and shut case. It's not a situation where we got to deliberate for two weeks or whatever like that. It's got to be something where, yo, I got your hand on the knife that poked him 20 times. Like, you got to be able to, you got to be able to put those together for me. Yeah. And the thing about it is, I feel like lawyers today, some lawyers can't do it, you know, and, and I'm going to bring this up because I feel like it's necessary. Like the Casey Anthony situation, had they not pressed for murder one, she'd be in jail right now. Yeah. The reason why she got off, because they could not prove that she put the baby in a dumpster. Everybody knows she put the baby in a dumpster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they couldn't put her, the dumpster, and the baby together. That's what happened to OJ. I mean, that's also what happened to George Zimmerman. Yeah. Yeah. That's and why he ain't you, in jail. Because you, you want to go for the jugular. Look, man, if you'd have just put the, the dude in jail for like 10 years, I'm cool with that. You know, yeah, I would like to see him get the death penalty. But unless you can 100% prove it, then don't. Just get him off the street. And now... Especially with George Zimmerman, he had done like three, four different things after yeah. he got off. So you know you dropped the ball there, yep. and then and that's the problem. Is just that's the problem with our legal system. They want to go for the jugular when, yo, dude, I'd rather you just put the dude in jail for twenty years, and call it a day. But I'm that, fine with that. Going for the, the jugular, that's a that's a PR thing. That's a you know we've got to make a point. We're trying to show everyone that you know. We heard you, and we're, we're, we're going after them for the, the top level when they already know they don't have that case. But Sometimes I think when they do stuff like that, it's on purpose. Yeah. It's but on it's, purpose. And the thing about it is, name me one high-profile case that recently that they went for the juggler and they succeeded. I'll wait. I can dig it. And you know, I have to step in with Marcus J. Live from the Den, Legacy Internet Radio. Big rule. Yo, it's a, it's a, it's a round table. Thanks for.